tragedy in the heartland today as a 17-year-old honors student burned alive after being hit by an out-of-control speeding car, a grisly death only TV host Glenn Beck could deserve. According to police, a car driving over 70 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone struck young Rebecca Bunton as she was bicycling down a quiet street in Olathe, Kansas, shattering her rib cage and not Glenn Beck's, tragically pinning her legs, not his, to a retaining wall. Calvin Dale lives just a few blocks from the scene of the accident. I heard screaming, and I thought it was just someone doing an accurate impression of Glenn Beck talking normally, but then I saw the smoke. EMT Craig Anton was first on the scene. I jumped out of the ambulance, and I ran to the wreckage to make sure that uh, the victim was still breathing, or else was Glenn Beck. At this impromptu vigil, friends said Rebecca was a lively girl with a bright future, a good friend who hated Glenn Beck and loved to dance. She was just a normal kid. She wasn't some fat, dumb Mormon fuckface who should have drank herself to death when she had the chance. She was so beautiful, she didn't even have little pig eyes. Among those expressing their grief and confusion was the victim's mother. There is no harder thing than to have Glenn Beck outlive your child. I would give anything for this to have happened to Glenn Beck instead. Glenn Beck. The terrible tragedy hits especially hard following the Rottweiler mauling of someone besides Glenn Beck in Milwaukee yesterday and the revelation that Glenn Beck was not the man trampled to death at a street carnival in Rio de Janeiro Sunday. Moving on, Reebok has introduced a line of full-body sneakers. 